Hey, entrepreneurs. I'm Jenny with Jenlin Stock Shop, and I'm here to help you use our mock-ups and sell your stuff. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use our Minky Blanket mock-up file. As mentioned previously, when you open our files, most of them are going to have this white rectangle. It's this white layer that I place on top of all my files and it helps make the file size significantly smaller. So when I upload them to sites and things like that, um, they're smaller in size and then smaller for you when you download them. So if you open it up and you see this white rectangle, all you have to do is click the eyeball and it turns that layer off and then you can see the image with the blanket and the smart objects. So as you can see here, uh, the first thing you're going to do is open up your smart object thumbnail, which you double click on this icon. And as you can see up here, it opens up a new file labeled layer one PSB. And this is where you're going to place your artwork. So in order to place your artwork, you have to open it up in Photoshop. So I'm going to go to file, open recent, cause I opened it recently. And we're going to do this swan artwork. This is from Denise Ann Designs. She is a fabulous graphic artist designer and she's a friend of mine and I like to use her stuff. So once I get it open, I'm going to select all, which to do that, I do command A and then you can tell that it's selected by the marching ants around the edges. And then I'm going to copy it. So then I do command C and I click over to my layer PSB file and I command V. There it is. Now it's not centered and it's not sized correctly. So you have to make sure that you have your move tool selected. And there it is. And the great thing about Photoshop is you can move it and it tells you when it's centered. And to resize it, you just wanna grab any of these corners. I like to grab the top, middle and pull it up. Oop, nope, that stretches it. Um, I don't remember how to do this. Here we go. So I press Option and Shift when I click to resize it, and that way it still keeps it centered and resizes it, and I stretch it all the way to the top and press Enter, and there it is. Now it looks a little high, so I'm going to move it down a few notches. So I just... Um, you know, I do these things and I don't even realize it I just, because I'm so used to doing it. But if you, sorry, move it down a smidge and then do your option shift again and kind of drag it up. So you just want to get it centered where you like it. So that looks good to me. Um, so then I, so from here, you have to save it. If you don't press command save or command S, then it's not gonna appear over here on the mockup. So, Command S, see it says it's saving. I go back over here and there it is. It looks great. And, okay, so then you have the shadow section, the shadow layer that I have put on here. You can see the difference with and without it. I have it at 10% right now but if you have a darker design and you really want your shadows to pop so that you can see the texture and things of the blanket, you just increase, you just click and drag right here, or you take it down to zero if you don't want any. I like it right around 10. Um, that way you can kind of see the flow of the blanket and then the design kind of goes, it just looks more realistic. So that's what I love about our shadow layers. And then from here, you just save it and then save it as a JPEG and upload it to your listings or your website or whatever marketing materials you're using. And that's it.